This presentation illustrates how the ArcGIS Pro Distance Measure tool can be used to determine the amount of map distortion using the Lombard conformal conic projection as an example. A map projection transforms the spherical Earth surface to a two-dimensional map plane. It uses mathematical formulas to convert geographical coordinates to flat, planar x, y or easting, north and coordinates. The surface onto which the ellipsoid or sphere is projected must be one that can unfold itself into a plane without distortion. Such a surface is called a developable surface, which can either be a cone, a cylinder or a flat plane. Correspondingly, projection families can be grouped into conic, azimuthal or cylindrical. Dark grey arrows in this figure indicate coordinate transformations that introduce map distortions during the map projection process. As can be seen, map distortion occurs for all projection families and cannot be avoided. This presentation will illustrate how to use the ArcGIS Pro Measure tool to determine the map distortion for one specific type of conic map projection, namely the Lombard conformal conic projection. The principle demonstrated in this presentation can be applied to any type of map projection that is implemented in ArcGIS Pro. To better understand the design and specifications of the Lombard conformal conic projection, the concept of map case is needed. This concept is closely related to standard line. Standard lines are important since points along those lines experience no distortion in a map. Conic map projections can have either one or two standard lines. Generally, if the cone's axis is aligned with the Earth's rotation axis, the standard lines are parallels, as shown in these figures. The case with one standard line is called the tangent case. In the tangent case, the virtual cone touches the reference globe along one line, in this case a parallel. The case with two standard parallels is called second case, shown to the right. In the second case, the virtual cone intersects the reference globe along two lines, in this case two parallels. The advantage of the second case is that it keeps maximum distortions low over a large area. The Lombard conformal conic projection uses the second case with two standard parallels. A conformal map projection maintains angular relationships and accurate shapes over small areas. This means that at a given point the distortion is the same in each direction. This figure shows that if standard parallels are chosen at latitudes far apart, distortions can be kept relatively small even when mapping the entire North American continent. In mapping the 48 conterminous states, standard parallels are usually chosen at 33 and 45 degrees north. This is also the case for the USA contiguous Lambert conformal conic projection that is available in ArcGIS Pro. As percentage numbers indicate, there is no map distortion along the two standard parallels. Between them, distances are mapped too short by up to 1%. Map accuracy is closely related to map distortion since it helps to quantify the effect of map distortion at a given point and in different directions. The map accuracy can be found by comparing the length of a line on the reference globe with the length of that line measured on the map. The equation shown here takes the absolute difference between the reference distance on the Earth model, such as the ellipsoid, and the measured map distance. The accuracy is then expressed as this difference over the reference distance. The equation results in a decimal number, which is typically converted to a ratio with 1 in the denominator for easier interpretation such as 1 over 2500. To illustrate the principle of determining the map accuracy for the Lombard conformal conic projection, we define two groups of points. The southern group of points is located on or very close to the lower standard parallel at 33 degrees latitude north. The second point group is located 1 degree north of the southern one at 34 degrees latitude. To determine the map accuracy in different directions, we measure the north, south and east, west distance in each point group between corresponding point pairs, which are 0 0.02 degrees apart in north, south and east, west direction. Actually, each distance is measured twice, namely once on the map and once on the reference surface model. Based on this, the map accuracy for the given point pair can be determined. As a first step, the point set is loaded into the ArcGIS Pro project. The attribute table shows the geographic coordinates of the eight points. Next, 
those points are geocoded and mapped. Furthermore, we can add labels. The current map is using a geographic coordinate system. I prepared here another map with that USA contiguous lumbar to conform a conic projection where we can see details. For example, the table shows the latitude of the two standard parallels at 33 and 45 degrees latitude. In order to make measurements on that projection, the layer needs to be copied over. And with it come the labels. For the actual measurements, we can start with the lower point cloud and insert those measurements into an Excel table. Before starting the measurements, we must make sure that snapping is turned on, in this case the point snapping, and also the measurement options allow us to set readings to three decimal digits of a meter, which means we measure distances to the closest millimeter. Let's begin with the north-south distance of this southern point cloud, which is located close or on the southern standard parallel. In Excel, those two columns relate to this point cloud, and this set of columns relates to this northern point cloud, which is off the standard parallel. So we use the measure distance tool and start with the map distance using meters and we see that the result is reported to the nearest millimeter. This process is now repeated for the reference distance using the equations from before we can see that there is no difference between the reference distance and the measured distance on the map. This also means that we have no distortion in the north-south direction and the denominator is therefore infinite. And this is because this point set is located on the southern standard parallel which has a scale factor of 1 and therefore is distortion free. We follow the same approach for the east-west point pair. Insert the planar distance and measure also the geodetic distance and again here we see that those two distances are identical which means that we have no distortion in either direction. Since this is a conformal map we can expect that the distortion in the north-south and the east-west direction are identical. Let's proceed to the northern point pair where we can repeat the same process. In this case, we get a denominator value of 611, which means that the map at this location is accurate in 1 over 611. We repeat the same process for the east-west direction. As expected, we see that the map accuracy is also 1 over 611 in the east-west direction. This presentation showed that measurements on the standard parallels are distortion-free, and it also showed that the distortion is the same in each direction at a given point.